Hello guys, welcome back to Easy One Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics in which we have to find out the stresses in the soil layer. So the problem states that calculate the total stress, effective stress and the pore water pressure at the middle of the clay layer. We are given with the two layers of the soil. The first one is the sand layer, the second one is the clay layer and we have to find out the total stress, effective stress and pore water pressure at the middle of the clay layer. So it means at the midpoint of this clay layer and also draw the stress distribution diagram and also we have to draw the stress distribution diagram at the middle of the clay layer. So the midpoint of the clay layer can be represented here. This is the midpoint of this clay layer. The sand layer has a depth of 5 meter and the clay layer has a depth of 6 meter. So and also the gamma 1 which is the unit weight for the sand layer is the 10 kN per cubic meter and for the clay it is 20 kN per cubic meter and the, there is a water table which acts at the bottom of the sand layer. The surcharge load acting on the top of the sand layer is 30 kN per square meter. So to find out the total stress, effective stress at the mid of this clay layer so this point will be here it, it will be H2 divided by 2, it means 3 meter because it is the middle of the clay layer, the clay layer has a height of depth of 6 meter, so the midpoint will be of 3 meter. Now to find out the total stress and the filter stress and the pore water pressure, so let's consider that this section is AA. This section is AA section where we want to find out the stresses. So the total stress will be equal to the sigma it will be equal to the this total load acting on the top of the soil layer Q plus the from the load from the sand layer which will be equal to the gamma 1 the unit weight of the sand layer multiplied with the H1 which is the height of this sand layer and adding with the clay layer the clay layer will be gamma 2 again multiplying with the H2 but H2 will be the half because it states that at the middle of the clay layer so at the middle of the clay layer we have the H2 so it will be H2 divided by 2. Now putting the value of the stresses so it becomes Q is 30 gamma 1 is 18 here multiplying by H1 is 5 and again gamma 2 is 20 and multiplying by H2 is 6 divided by 2 means it is 3. So by adding these and multiplying we get sigma of 180 kilonewton per square meter. So this is the total stress at the mid of the clay layer. Now the pore water pressure pore water pressure at the section AA represented by mu it will be the it will be equal to the pressure developed inside the water voids. So mu will be equal to the gamma w multiply with the H2 divided by 2. Gamma w is the unit weight of water which is 10 kN per cubic meter multiply with the H2 by 2 because the water table acts at the bottom of the same layer so we don't need to consider the layers above the clay layers because it acts at the top of this clay layer so we have only considered the distance from the water table up to the midpoint so only is 2 divided by 2 which is 3 meter so it comes out to be 30 kN per square meter this is the pore water pressure at the mid of the clay layer similarly the effective stress at the mid layer at the midpoint of the clay layer will be equal to the sigma dash it, it is represented by sigma dash and it is equal to the total stress minus the pore water pressure. The total stress is 180 minus 30 which is the pore water pressure here at this point at the middle of the clay layer. So it comes out to be 150 kilonewton per square meter. So this is the effective stress at the midpoint of the clay layer here at the section AA. Now to draw their stress distribution diagram so I draw the reference line here. This is for the total stress, this is for the pore water pressure and this is for the 
effect to stress and we have to find out here the stresses so here starting from this point the stress at this point is equal to the 180 this is the total stress so it will be here 180 kilonewton per square meter and at the top it will be equal to the 30 this is 30 kilonewton per square meter because it is the surcharge load acting on the top of the layer this is the total stress distribution diagram the pore water pressure is zero at the top and it is and it is the value of we can see 30 and 30 will be from the this point 30 will start from this point because the water table is starting from this point so here we start the pore water pressure and it will be equal to the here 30 kilonewton per square meter at the mid of this clay layer so this is the pore water pressure at the mid of the clay layer now what will be the effect to stress similarly it is 150 so if I draw the here it will be 150 kilonewton per square meter and at the top it will be 30 kilonewton per square meter because there is no pore water pressure at the top of the layer so it will start from 30 and will come to the 150 kilonewton per square meter so this is the stress distribution diagram for the clay for the soil layers and at the up to the midpoint of the clay layer hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video